with YouTube, Nostalgia here, and today I have uh, another class guide for you. I'm going to be doing the Alpha Omega. Um, now, some of you might be thinking, Alpha Omega, really? Um, but this was a request, that, uh, sorry, a request that I got. I think it was on my Lovecaster class guide. Um, someone asked me to do an Alpha Omega class review, so here it is. Um, um, uh, what do I say? What do I start? Uh, Alpha Omega. I was a little surprised when I saw that this person requested Alpha Omega as in my opinion it is one of the easiest classes to use in the game and also one of the best but um so this should be a much shorter and a much more brief class guide than say Lovecast or Soul Cleaver as it is you know it's a fairly standard class it's very similar to Vindicator of the Day if any of you guys have actually used that class you'll notice that these are quite similar um, it's also similar to um, oh, I don't know <laughs> it's just a standard it's a, it's a pretty standard class, but it happens to be really, really cool. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. And I always start my class guides by going through the skill sets, so let's, let's go and do that. Um, obviously, you've got your auto attack. Don't need to worry about that. It's standard attack them. Then if I move over to here, instantly attack twice, dealing extra damage. So this is just like ninja or warrior. You basically swipe them twice with your weapon. Over here you've got your healer. Uh, now this is a lot of a lot of crazy and complicated writing, but basically it is just your big heal spell. So it heals a friendly target for a large amount immediately and up to three additional nearby targets for a smaller amount. Applies radiance to the first target, healing for an additional amount over 16 seconds and restoring some mana to the caster when the target takes damage. Basically, leave all that aside, it heals you and it heals people around you. So if your health gets low, jam this and you're going to heal up. If you're, if you're playing in a team or a party and their health's getting low, jam this and they're going to um, they're going to heal. Everyone's going to heal. So it's just a big healing spell that is, in my opinion, one of the best healer spells in the game. But, um, well, from the classes that, I've actu that I've actually used. And, um, yeah, cool. Moving over to this one, uh, this is just a standard stunning spell. Strike and weaken an enemy by stunning them for 4 seconds. That's all that does. And then over here we've got the thing that sets the whole class off, the big spell, one hit guaranteed to crit. Simple and concise. One number, four words, done. <laughs> um, cool, so that's the skill set. Um, before I actually demonstrate the class for you guys, um, there are a few, uh, well, they, you call them minor details, but they make a massive difference in the class's performance. Um, those would be what enhancement you use and what weapon you use. Now, with this with this sort of class, that is particularly important. Uh, what, well, then again, that depends on the user if they want to be maximizing the total amount of damage they can get from the class, or if they just want to use the class to rank it up to rank 10 and don't really care what damage they do. That's totally up to you. But if you are indeed trying to get the most amount of damage out of this class that you can, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend all luck. Now. I might get a lot of hate for that. Some people will be like, oh, why don't you use wizard? Why don't you use, um, I don't know, something else? Luck is definitely what you want to use. Um, and I can say that with absolute confidence. Reason for that being is this last spell over here, one hit guaranteed to crit. If you're using, say, I don't know, fighter and wizard or whatever the heck else there is other than luck, not to be, not to generalize, but you're probably going to max about four to five k with this with this particular spell. If you're using all luck and an unstable weapon, which is also ironically the second key thing to this class, you can uh, you can hit up to ten and eleven k, if not more, with this class, depending on the mon the monster you're attacking and also depending on the weapon. So yeah, <laughs> basically to to simplify what I've just said, definitely use all luck with this class. You might, might just be able to use all luck and wizard, or mix it up and use wizard, but I would just, you know, cut out the middleman and just use all luck. Keep it simple, keep it effective. It's <laughs> a cool, punchy little quote. Um, that brings me to the second thing, which I did actually mention, is the weapon. With this sort of class where you're guaranteed to crit, you want to use an unstable weapon. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what stable and unstable weapons are, I will get to that. I'm actually going to make a video on that. That will be in my tips and tricks. My, well, that will be my next tips and tricks video. 
<laughs> so there's a little a little spoiler for what's to come, but yeah, um, using an unstable weapon with this class is definitely important. Uh, to give you an example, if I go to my weapons, uh, Ceremonial Legion Blade, there is a very stable weapon, as you can see, 124 to 152, whereas if I go down to, say, Dragon Blade of Naga, um, there, this is a very, very unstable weapon, as you can see, 13 to 263. So, you want to use an unstable weapon with this class so as to maximize the total amount of crit that you can possibly hit with this. Obviously, the more unstable the weapon is, the more luck you'll need, but that's why you're using all luck enhancements. So as you can see, the two go hand in hand. Cool, um, so that basically concludes the skill set and the requirements for the class. In terms of where you can get the class from, there's actually three different ways you can get this particular class. You can get it from, um, you can buy it for 2000 ACs from the class shop, or is it 1000, I can't remember. You can buy it from the class shop though. Um, if I go over to uh, shops, and then more classes, and more classes, we click on this, Alpha Omega is there, and it's, sorry, 1000 ACs, you can buy it for 1000 ACs from the class shop, or you can get it from the Wheel of Doom, uh, It's if you get it from the Wheel of Doom or the Wheel of Fortune, whichever wheel you want, it's called Alpha Doom Mega, so you can win it through that, or you can get it the the um, the normal way and you can farm it through combat trophies, it requires 300 combat trophies you can get it through that. So there's, three, there's actually three different ways you can get this class um, so class shop, wheel of doom or fortune whatever and combat trophies. Cool! Um, moving on, something I should have done before saying that, I'll go into the stats of the class um, as you can see over here this gives you an idea of what um, luck is doing with this. I have an attack power of 433 and 110 spell. Strength is 114. My hit percentage is 97.82%. <laughs> that's really good, and that's because of that's mostly because of this last spell. Uh, so you guys can have a look at that, and see what's going on. But over here is the skills again, and the two passives. If I have a look at the two passives, uh, passive ability: you deal 10% additional damage with physical attacks. So that, again, is your last part of physical attack, uh, as you can see over there, physical. I actually just pointed at the computer screen, but you can't really see my finger, can you? So let's use the mouse. Uh, is this a physical attack? It is indeed. So it increases your two attacking spells by um, 10%, and your stun is also a physical strike. So basically, all it does is it increases all of your attacks by 10%, which is really, really good. And then if we look at the second passive, defense increased by 15%, so that protects you a little bit more. Cool. So that concludes the skill sets and the passives and the requirements and where you can get it from. Now let's go and have a look at how it actually performs. So like in all my videos, let's take you to Shadow Realm, and we'll go to a private lobby. Or room. Cool. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys um, the auto attack. I don't... don't worry if I die or not. If I die, that doesn't mean, oh my god, he died, the class must be terrible. I'm not using any spells, I'm just giving you an idea of what the auto attack does, and I'm not healing or anything. So, click on this guy, and attack. So let's have a look at what attack's doing. It's a straight hunt, straight 817 crit off the bat, followed by 237, 747, 281, 253. So as you can see, the non-crits are... Um, Within the two, um, within the mid 200 to late 200 range, but as you can see, I am critting almost every strike. Look at that, eight five one seven six seven, uh, and that's the all luck enhancements paying off. That's just me being very very lucky and critting almost every hit. And uh, look at that, that was just using the auto attack, and I killed him by losing less than half my health. And yeah, and that was a level 53 monster with 7.7k health. That's not too bad. Um, and if I go and do the same over here, 875 again straight off the bat, 774, two crits in a row, 256, so as you can see the non-crits are within the mid to late 200 range and the crits are within 700 to, to 900 range, cool. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you an idea of this last spell and click that, and I instantly smacked him for 2400 which is actually not the best with this class. You can hit a lot better with this. 
Um, I don't think the weapon I'm using here is particularly unstable. It might be, actually, I haven't checked it in a while. If I scroll all the way down, it's my Foss side of cruelty. Uh, no, it's not. This is, I'm not actually using an unstable weapon, so for the benefit of this video, I'm going to equip Dragon Blade. I might not hit a massive crit with it, because as you can see, there is a much wider room for error. But let's just see. So I'm going to attack, and I'm now going to use my last bar. And that's a lot better. At least I hit him for 4k. There's a 4 in there. So, smacked him straight for 4. Now I'm hitting with 1, 1, 1, 1. <laughs> Uh, 1227 so instantly you can see the difference between a stable and a non-stable weapon that right there look how fast I killed him there I'm not even gonna heal myself I'm gonna attack him I'm gonna use this um, actually that wasn't very good that was an arm and then I press the heal and look at that heal instantly heal for 2054 so uh, I don't know if you guys are actually you know getting a lot out of this there's another 4k um, 4k one but basically um, the heal is really really good this is really really good it is obviously depends on luck you know you've got to you've got to hope that you're when you use a very unstable weapon you want it to there's more room for error and that's where luck makes up but sometimes it doesn't always work but you have the ability to crit heaps you just need to find it if that makes sense um, but cool so that basically concludes um, concludes this video. I'm just going to attack this guy one last time and hopefully hit something big. I no, actually hit him with 2k, that's pretty bad. Right. Um, also, sorry, one last thing to mention is this spell has a 15 second cooldown, which is really, really good for what it does. I mean, it could they could have easily have made that 45 to uh, 30 second cooldown, which could have been really annoying, but 15 seconds is, is really manageable. And um, yeah, you can work. You can work with um, with 15 second cooldowns, that's for sure. Um, is that a 6k? Oh, that's 681. Damn it. <laughs> that would have been cool. Anyway, um, so basically to wrap up, do I recommend getting this class? Absolutely. This is one of my most favorite classes in the game. It's fantastic for soloing, as you can smack really, he really big and also heal really well plus stun. It's a fantastic class to solo. Um, I would actually recommend using this class over Necromancer to solo. Uh, Necromancer's 2, 2011, whether it's this is much more modern and a lot faster in my opinion. Um, if you're soloing absolutely huge creatures, then Necro's probably, probably better, but I seem to manage absolutely fine with this. So in terms of a soloing point, it is a fantastic class to use. PvP, obviously 1v1s this is really, really good. Uh, you can stun your opponent, then guarantee crit them, and depending on the weapon you use, you know, players only have 2,000 health. You can smack them for heaps and probably almost 99% of the time instant kill them with this class in PvP so it is massively overpowered there is no question about that and um, yeah I would definitely recommend getting this class so um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful um, if so don't forget to um, leave a comment in the description letting me know what you thought give it a thumbs up keep subscribing um, I should hopefully get uh, as I said I'll have my new tips and tricks video coming up soon but I've also been asked to do an Archfiend class review, a legendary Archfiend, Archfiend, you know, the Nogath class review. So that should be coming up soon. Um, so once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.